been a great season and a great final day of racing here at Steel City Raceway in the final round of the Lucas Oil AMA Pro Motocross Championship. We'll review today's race with our Lucas Oil Race Recap. Highlights here from Moto2. Banging bars off the start. Justin Brayton is going to put his KTM into the number one position. Chad Reed's in second. We thought Reed was going to go to the front here, David. Nope. He went to the back. Yeah. <laughs> and made himself sick. Apparently, that, that's a bummer, man. He, 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 you could tell something was wrong. I thought he'd fire himself up and actually start riding strong at the beginning of the moto. He needed to get back to the motorhome in a hurry and, and lose some more luck for this. Brayton wins the moto, first one of his career. And with a fourth place finish, Tommy Hahn is your overall winner today from Steel City. And yet another upset in what has been a season of upsets. We'll show you the results now that this moto is complete. Justin Brayton has got the Moto win for KTM. Jake Moss, great ride by the replacement rider to finish second. Davey Millsaps from 26 to 10th. He was played by bad starts. And the Brazilian Antonio Malby in the top 10. Way to end the season strong. Let's go down to Aaron on the podium. Tommy Hahn has been climbing the ladder steadily all season long, and all your hard work and success has paid off. Tommy, we had mentioned to you, just go out and do it again, just like you did that first Moto. I guess you took that literally, went out and did it. Yeah, I got a good start. Started up in about third, and... Uh, you know, just kind of rode smart, started making mistakes towards the middle of the moto, and Ivan got by me, and they rode on the pit board. Uh, fourth is good for overall, so I just held it there and uh, rode the rest of the race and had a blast, you know. And my good buddy Ivan got second. I want to dedicate this uh, this win to uh, Ivan Tedesco's father-in-law. It would be his wife's, his wife's dad. He passed away a couple weeks ago uh, to a heart attack. So I'd like to dedicate this to them. And I love you guys very much. Is it a true story that once you get that first victory, it's like getting the monkey off your back, you come out with more confidence and you know what you're doing? Well, I would say I'd see you next week, but it's the end of the race, end of the racing for this year, so I don't know yet. We'll see when I start racing back again. Uh, it might get easier for me. I've been working a long time for this, and uh, I work my butt off. I really do, and I have good people on my side. My mom, my dad, my girlfriend, my brother, everybody that's behind me. I love them. My whole team, my mechanic. My mechanic is the main reason why I'm up here right now. He works his butt off, so I love him. Thank you. Well, congratulations to you, polishing off the season, already successful season, polishing it off nicely. And David Bailey, I got a question for you. Considering that you predicted that Tommy Hahn was going to take the overall, is it possible that maybe you could send us a little luck my way and buy me a lottery ticket? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, just tell Tommy congratulations for me, man. I, yeah. I had a feeling about it. I know he works hard, and he's ridden well here before. He had all the tools, so awesome job. I feel happy. So happy for him. Ah, now, if he wants to follow that win up with another one, he's going to have to wait till Supercross next year. We really, really look forward to that season. So many new riders got momentum on their side this year to take into Supercross. We'll take you through those moments. The Geico top moments from 2009. We'll show you the highlights when we return on speed. But you don't want to miss this, folks. They call it the Steel City. That's Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We're right outside of that at Steel City Raceway. The season is complete. It has been a crazy season of racing in the 450 class. We'll review it with our Geico top moments of the season. Number five, riding with injuries. Ryan Villapoto wins the first motos of the year at Glen Helen, then twists his knee up. He gallantly tries to ride out through the season. It's not going to work. He's out. Michael Lessie takes over. He hurts his knee. Gets re-injured trying to come back. Scratch Alessi from the championship chase. That opens the door up. As mentioned, Villapoto won the first race at Glen Helen. And Alessi took advantage from there until his injuries set in. Then it started getting wild. Reed wins at High Point. Tedesco wins at Thunder Valley in Colorado. Grant wins at Redbud in Michigan. Last week, Matt Gerke is able to put his factory Yamaha into victory lane of Southwick. And don't forget Tommy Hahn winning today. Number three, how can we go racing at this? Fans, thousands and thousands of the best fans in the world enjoying motocross outdoors the way it should be. Second moments near the hard crashes. Alessi crashes on way to an overall victory later and hangs out. His brother Jeff crashes out of the lead at Unadilla. This is Josh Grant going down hard while fighting his way through traffic at High Point. And his teammate Cody Cooper goes down downhill at Washougal. The biggest moment of the year of this, Chad Reed claiming the championship in a series that many people didn't expect him to even race in. That is your Geico Top Moments of the Year. Let's go to your results here today. Justin Brayton wins the moto, but not enough to win the overall. Tommy Hahn, seven different winners this year with a 1-4 score. We've already talked to him. 
So let's talk to our Moto winner, Justin Brayton on the podium. Justin Brayton has put in a hard charge all season long, having two fourth place overall finishes. Today, a third place overall, but the icing on the cake for you has to be winning the last Moto of the season. Yeah, for sure, man. To get a Moto win uh, outdoors is just amazing. Uh, been working really hard this season. My mechanic, Rich, man, he puts in so many hours, and uh, this is all for him and my team, Jägermeister, MDK, KTM. This is a uh, this is a good day. I'm uh, just really, really excited. Congratulations. Way to put the finishing touches on it. Don't miss a motocross race. Now it's Speed On Demand Online. Get caught up on the action or relive the season's biggest moments. Just log on to speedtv.com, keyword MX, to watch the 2009 races online, on demand, anytime, exclusively at speedtv.com. And we mentioned great moments. Man, this season was chock full of them, Jeff Emig. It was a banner, banner year for the sport. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. You know, with uh, all of those top guys going out in the beginning, we really saw throughout the season the guys that were digging deep and that were working hard. And here at the end of the season, you have Han, uh, Brayton, you know, going out with these great rides. It's, uh, it's really encouraging for next season. It's inspiring, too, for all the other privateers out there and the guys that don't quite have all that factory support to see that, you can win, you know, and for the factory guys, hey, man, the economy is probably going to sort out their motivation <laughs> problems. Yeah. Well, you think 2009 was great? Get ready for 2010. Of course, Speed will be there covering the Supercross Series starting in January. Stay tuned to SpeedTV.com's website for more information on that. And, of course, we'll be back with this Lucas Oil AMA Pro Motocross Championship on Speed next year. Big thanks to the folks at Lucas and Speed and Ally Sports for putting this banner season together. For Jeff Emick, David Bailey, and Aaron Bates, Jason Wygant, it's been a thrill bringing it to you. Seven first-time winners, including a new Moto winner with Justin Brayton, a new overall winner with Tommy Hahn, and, of course, your championship going to Chad Reed. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you in 2010.